Hello everybody and welcome to my next let's play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, this is going to be a 100% run, including all 180 emblems, including the Chao emblems. And so by the time I'm done this, this emblem screen here is going to be pretty full. So Hero, Dark, we don't have anything in between yet because we haven't done anything yet. But that 0 out of 180 will soon be a 180 out of 180. So, uh, with that, let's story just get done with the story. Or started with the story. I'm going to be jumping back and forth between Hero and Dark Story just to keep the, the plot uh, making sense. So let's get in with the Hero story. For the most part, I won't be talking through the cutscenes, but... There's plenty of time to talk to the game. Two, heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and what? The Didn't hedgehog copy that. is over. gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and what's wrong? What in the world? Come in. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog! Alright, so Sonic plummeting to the ground, landing directly on a piece of helicopter. What an awesome headshot. Anyway, this is the first level of the hero story, City Escape. For some reason, the military is chasing after Sonic, and um, if you guys are wondering why I'm doing this game first instead of Sonic Adventure 1, it's because I don't really enjoy that game that much. Just the whole move from one level to the next element in it. It's not the biggest the biggest thing in my book here, so so here I am starting with a game that I know and I love playing. Um so yeah there's a couple of different uh, layouts. Uh, the hero and dark stories you have characters that kinda mirror each other's levels. For example, Sonic and um, a mysterious black hedgehog will be mirrored. Um, Tails and Dr. Eggman. Yes, that's Eggman and not Robotnik. For those of you guys who haven't played any Sonic games since Sega Genesis. Um, and then Knuckles and uh, Rouge, who will be introduced later, will also have similar looking levels. Well, in terms of content, as well as, um, objectives. So Sonic levels are all pretty fast. Um, those jumps that I missed going down that one last bit of street there were, um... Ah, rats. The Golden Beetle, I can never seem to get it. Uh, Golden Beetles are, um, kind of important. Uh, hitting one gives you a thousand points, so that's extremely ha handy for getting the A ranks in the levels. Um, each level you're graded on a rank from A to E and um, <coughs> I don't think I'm going to be getting an A rank on this level. I'm already doing pretty bad on it. <laughs> but um, I'll be posting the uh, appropriate scores. Uh oh. Okay. Well I died so I'm definitely not getting that A rank in this level. When you die, your score is reset, by the way, so, yeah. This is the first time I've died on this level in so long. Anyway, like I said, each level is graded from A to E, A being the highest and E being the worst. Um, so it's good to try and go for that um, A rank if you can. Man, I'm doing terrible on this level. This is the second time I've died now. Alright, let's not die this time. Whoa. 
Yeah, using your spin dash, you can also get nice little boost off jumps if you uh, if you um, jump just at the right time. So that's something handy to know for uh, some later's that come or for some levels that come later on. Whoa. I'm collecting all the rings in a level at the end of the level when it gives you your uh, rank. It'll also tell you um, how many rings you got in the level. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to go for the rings on this bottom slope here, so... Um, it'll tell you how many rings there were in the level. Um, so if you collect all the rings in the level, then you'll automatically get the 8 rank. But it's extremely hard to collect all the rings in the level. So, yeah, just, just pay attention. And because I died there, yes! I'm fairly sure that this one here is going to be an E rank. Unless I got enough bonus points to bump me up to like a D, which I might have. Yep. Huh. No problem. So like I said, on each level, I'm going to be posting the point requirement in order to get the A rank. And yeah, so you guys can see how badly I did or how close I was or this stuff like that. Um, by the end of this, in order to get all 180 emblems, all the levels need to be done on A rank. And so, um, in the stage select, you can redo uh, the missions and also um, other things for the missions, like collect 100 coins, there's a secret chow hidden in each of the levels. So, it'll be stuff like that. So you guys can see me do stuff like that later. Whoops. Sonic's homing attack is really nice to use. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who at the. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, it's isn't you. it? Not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, Knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? what was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. Any 
anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Alright, so now we have Knuckles' first level. Wild Canyon. So as you saw, the Master Emerald, which was very important to the story, it seems, according to Knuckles, was shattered into pieces. And so now, it is our job to hunt down those pieces and get it back. It's closer. And that was really fast. Two more left. I found the first one pretty good. If I find the other two just as fast, I might get an A rank on this level. Alright. Oh, must be in the basement floor. Alright, so as you see for uh, Knuckles, he can glide like he always has been able to. And that's really handy for his levels because they're all very big. Wow. There's two already. Where is it? Oh, I guess I have to move this. There we go, there's two. And one more, I guess, is in the top. On one of the sides here. Yeah. Wow. Probably the fastest I've ever done this level. Don't want to speak too soon though, but. Ah, can't see where I'm going. It's closer. There we go. Oh, there it is. There we go. I found him. So as you see, uh, Knuckles and Rouge, their levels are very short. Um, they can be long, as you'll see uh, later on. Yeah, but, this um, is perfect. Yeah. And sorry about the the tint on the video, if you guys can see that. My uh, I was um playing uh, Banjo Tooie on uh on my computer a while back, and I had to turn up the brightness. So um, yeah, it it, it still might show a little bit of white. As you saw, Sonic, the reason he was being chased is because he was being framed for robbing the bank, which is obviously Shadow, but we don't know that story yet. So now we have to fight Dr. Eggman. This is the first boss battle of the game, so it's fairly easy. As you see, it's pretty much a shooting battle at this point. There isn't too much strategy behind it. So that will be the end of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Episode 1. Tune in next time to see what happens with Sonic or Tails and Amy.